Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. So today I have a really exciting video for you guys. I think it's more exciting for me than it is for you guys, but I have my Sephora VIB sale haul. By the time you guys see this video, the VIB, uh, VIB sale will be over. I was trying to do a recommendation video of things that you should get during the VIB sale this year like I did last year, but time did not permit and um, I ended up just having time to order it and then bring you guys a haul. So I did make my purchases online. I have my products in this box right here. Um, I know some of you guys are gonna come for me because in the past video I said that I was gonna slow down on the buying. I never said I was never gonna buy anything. I just said that I was going to temper it down. So I feel like I actually did really good. I only got things that I really wanted. I started out with a ton of things in my basket and I just feel like little by little I just got rid of them. So um, I only bought the things that I really wanted or because none of this stuff I actually need. So yeah, without further rambling, let's jump right in. All right, so I only picked up one skincare item, and um, yeah, I didn't pick up a lot of skincare. I have a lot of skincare right now, so I kind of want to go through everything that I have. The one skincare item I picked up is from a brand that I've actually never used, but I've heard a lot of people talk about this. The reviews on this product are usually really good or like really blah and really not good. So I wanted to give it a chance to see how I would like it because it I just had the recipe for something that I would like. So this is by the brand Glow Recipe. It is the Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask, and that's what that looks like. It has hyaluronic acid, AHAs. I'm a fan of hyaluronic acid because it helps hydrate your skin, and AHAs usually help uh, resurface the skin. Um, alpha hydroxy acid. Yes, AHA. AHA, yeah, alpha hydroxy acid. Um, I took the product out, but check out the inside of a box, guys. It has a watermelon all in it. Makes you kind of hungry. But that's the box. This is the actual product right here. It comes with a little spoon. It is much smaller than what I thought it was gonna be. Look at how big the box is. Look at how little the actual product is. Oh my God. This smells so good. Like I wanna eat this right now. It smells straight up like watermelon. It smells like watermelon popsicle. Mmm. It kind of has sort of like a jello texture. It's kind of, I don't know if you guys can see. I don't want to lean it too far. I don't want it to spill. But it kind of has like a jelly jello texture. So I'm definitely going to try this out and bring it back to you in a video of I bought it, but did I love it? What are those called? I can't remember what I call those videos, but it would definitely be back in a video so I can tell you guys how I liked it. Um, yeah, but that's the only skincare product that I picked up. All right, I got a few more eyeshadows. I've been a little bit on an eyeshadow craze lately. I don't know what I'm looking for. I feel like I'm looking to be wild. I'm looking to be amazed. Um, it's not really working, but I'm still looking for it. The next thing that I picked up, which, <laughs> This was a big surprise. It's going to be the new Huda Beauty, um, what are these called? They're just her mini palette. This is what it looks like. <laughs> Granted, it was $27, but I wasn't expecting it to be this small. I feel like she should call them like the mini beauty obsession palette. She should just have the word mini in there somewhere because I did not know it was gonna be this small. Um, I have dug into this already. I use it a little bit. This one is the uh, Warm Brown Obsession. She has different ones. I think she has a smoky one. She has a mauve one. But this is what the Warm Brown one looked like. I picked this palette up because first of all, the colors are gorgeous. Second of all, I thought this would be a great palette to travel with. Like if you're going on a little weekend trip, you don't want to take a lot of shadows with you. This is like the perfect palette to take with you. Um, and then you can add like maybe one more shimmer color and be done. Like, and this is, small so it's gonna fit anywhere um, and you've got all the amazing shadows that you need to create a look the only thing this palette is missing is a black I wish this dark brown was a black or maybe they replace one of these neutral colors with the black just because that would finish it out really well um, it still works really well you can just take out the black eyeshadow with you or you can just do like a smoky uh, brown look with this brown right here but I absolutely love this palette I have tried it um, the quality of the eyeshadows are pretty similar to her regular palettes so I don't feel like she she um, went down in quality just because this was a mini palette, but I really like it. This gold in the middle is gorgeous. I absolutely love it, but 
yeah that's what I picked up this palette this is what it looks like it's called the Huda Beauty warm brown obsession palette that's let's it. stick with the eyeshadows okay so last month I brought you guys the Natasha Denona Joya holiday palette um, but everybody was talking about the Aries palette and I was like, I'm not picking that up, I'm not picking that up, I'm not picking that up. But when they had the 20% off, I was like, I'm definitely picking that up. But yeah, this is what the Aries palette looks like. It looks just like the Joya Holiday palette on the outside. Um, but yeah, I really wanted to try this palette and this is what it looks like. It is such a beautiful, gorgeous palette. It is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. I am only wearing this palette on my eyes today. Um, and that's what that looks like. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I'm so obsessed and I'm so glad that I picked this up when I could get the 20% off of it. So today I have on a combination of this color, which this is all over my crease. And then I put this color all over my lid. And then I put a little bit of these two mixed in my inner corner. And then I finished it out with using this color in my bottom lash line. I absolutely am obsessed with this palette. I highly, highly recommend getting this. If you're thinking about getting somebody a gift or something to add to your Christmas list, definitely check these out. All right, the next thing that I got, um, I was actually really excited about. Um, this is an eyeshadow sort of like, it's like liquid eyeshadow set. This is the Stila Eyes for Elegance um, liquid eyeshadow set. This is what that looks like. Everybody knows about the Glitter and Glow, um, her liquid glitter shadows. Everybody loves those here on YouTube. Like Everybody raves about them. At least most people rave about them. I really like them. I own four of like the full size. I bought four of them. I really like them. Um, so I really wanted to get this set. I think I have a couple of the colors. One color I already have in my collection I believe smoldering satin that's the only one that I have in my collection I, but the reason why I really got the set was because of the other side here so she came out with a new formula and these are shimmer and glow liquid eyeshadows I really wanted to try this formula I know that these liquid shadows are exclusive to Ulta right now and I don't really shop at Ulta that much um, so I really wanted to try them out and I figured if I got a 20% off I might as well try them out in a set so you get the glitter ones and you get the liquid eyeshadows they're really really pretty I want to swatch just one of the the new liquid shadows. I want to swatch this one because this one is the one that I really like. This is called Twig. Twig is like a super nice, like bronzy color. Can you guys see that? That's what Twig looks like. This would be so pretty when you do like a smoky um, brown, to do like a smoky brown eye, and then you apply this like right in the center, or you, it just looks so gorgeous. It's gonna be so pretty for the holiday season. I absolutely love that color. Um, the other ones are more like neutral nude shades, which I can use on an everyday basis. But I wanted to swatch this color also because I don't have this. Um, I think this is one of her newer glitter glow shadows. This is next to note, right? Next to not. Next to note? I don't know. Um, but this is what that looks like. It is a beautiful shimmer glitter, like deep burnt, deep burgundy reddish color absolutely gorgeous this is gonna look bomb on some holiday holiday like Christmas looks so pretty I am so obsessed with these um, the formula is beautiful I love these um, so yeah I can't wait to use these in like videos or just in general All right, so. the next one I got is gonna be something that I feel like <laughs> Instagram and YouTube made me buy but it's by Fenty Beauty uh, when I originally purchased my things Fenty Beauty, I said I wasn't going to go crazy. I only picked up what I needed. So I picked up the foundation, the stick, the contour stick, and I think that was it. That's all I really wanted. I knew for sure I did not want Trophy Wife. It was just too much of an out there color for me. I like for my highlight to look like this. More of just like a muted golden um, tone, like a wearable. I didn't want anything that was going to blind the aliens or anything like that. So I did not pick up Trophy Wife. But everyone was talking about this one. And this is Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. And my friend Tiffany here was talking about it. And I think she used it on her eyes. I think she picked this one up, yeah. Um, and I wanted, I wanted it ever since. So this is what it looks like. 
it's in the Fenty Beauty packaging. The one thing I don't like about this is how hard it is to open. Like, you will literally mess up your manicure trying to open these. But this is what that looks like. It is a beautiful sort of like peach champagne color. You got one side that's super glittery, and then you got one side that's more like toned down that has much glitter in it. I have swatched them, but I haven't used them like on my face or on my eyes yet. So I'm really excited to use these. Okay, I'm almost done here, guys. I only have two things left to talk to you guys about, and we are done. Okay, next thing is going to be an eyelash glue. I have an issue with my lashes lifting all the time. I used to use the hair glue, the one you can get from like the hair store um, with the little red top. That worked amazing for me. My lashes never lifted. But for some reason, I started getting a reaction from those. I would get these tiny little bumps like right around like my eye area and I figured out that I just built an intolerance to it. So I stepped away from those. Uh, but everybody talks about the House of Lashes glue, so I picked it up during the sale because it was $9 plus 20% off, like who wouldn't pick it up? Um, everybody has a lot of good things to say about this glue, that it works really well. Um, that's what I'm wearing on my lashes today. I'm going to try it out and I'm going to tell you guys in a coming up video if I feel like this is really like worth it and if this is really like amazing as people say. So yeah, this is just the House of Lashes glue and I got mine in the color black. All right, so the last product I have for you guys is not actually from the uh, VIB sale. I just wanted to include it in this video since I was already showing you guys products. It's like one of their snowball face kits. This is in gold, and um, I think this is Whisper of Guilt. I think it is, but this is what the bag looks like. It comes in a little bag like this. The bag is gorgeous, first of all. It comes with this little pom-pom. I haven't taken it off out of its plastic yet, but it's just a really nice sort of like rose gold glitter bag. And then you open it, and inside, first, you have a brush. I haven't opened that either. If it was up to me, I would have just gotten the highlighter without the brush, but they came together. So I had to do what I had to do, girl. This is what the brush looks like. It is absolutely beautiful. It is rose gold. It's a fan brush, so it would be perfect to apply your highlighter. Again, I haven't used it yet, but um, I just love the color. The color is so beautiful, and it says, like, MAC um, and a bunch of numbers. <laughs> so that's that. And then for the piece de resistance, the thing that we were all here for, Whisper of Guilt. So Whisper of Guilt is, like, the original OG highlighter that started the highlighter craze, but MAC discontinued it and was just playing games and not coming back with it until every other company started coming out with highlighters and they were like, oh, we'll bring you back Whisper of Guilt. So I've never personally had it when it originally came out, so I really wanted to try it now, but check out how beautiful this packaging is, guys. It is just so gorgeous okay this is what it looks like on the inside um it has a really nice snowflake imprint on the inside and that is the highlighter that i'm wearing on my cheeks today i'm trying not to blind you guys too much um all right guys those are all the products that i had to show you guys as you can see i didn't really go crazy and spend a whole lot and I didn't go too nuts on everything online um, so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video please make sure you give a thumbs up if you did participate in the uh, VIB sale let me know down below what you guys bought I want to know in case there's another coupon that comes out and I can snag it um, let me know down in the comment if you guys got something and what it was thank you guys so much for watching make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos I will also have an upcoming video letting you guys know how I feel about all these products that I bought once I use them a little bit more. Um, thank you guys so much for watching again and I will see you guys in my next one.